All right, well, the Biden administration right now is monitoring the outbreak of the monkeypox virus in the United States. The CDC reports there are more than 8,000 confirmed cases of the virus in the U.S. Health officials stress vaccines are a central part of controlling the virus spread, but supplies are limited right now. There are also worries about more infections with the start of the school year. And officials say only a handful of children have contracted the disease so far. Well, colleges and universities will be heading back to, to the fall semester with monkeypox on their minds and the concerns of it spreading there. Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger live in Uptown. I hear sirens behind you. Derek, let's focus on this story. You spent the day getting a lot of information on the response of monkeypox, but also treatments and the outreach. Uh, yes, and with classes starting back in the next couple of days and weeks, in fact, some movements happening at the end of this week. COVID is on top of uh, one of those things. So is monkeypox as far as the concerns are concerned, uh, as far as people are concerned, at least right now. And it's one of the considerations monkey, uh, that the health department is taking into consideration as everything starts back up. But with colleges and universities, they are saying they are trying to keep an eye on all this COVID and monkeypox, too. Within the next few weeks, you'll be seeing more, more students heading into colleges and universities. And as blunt as we may be to say this, there's also a chance of more people getting sick. COVID is still a worry, and now there's monkeypox. We're just encouraging our students to sort of be visible, look around, make sure everything's okay. And if you're not feeling well, make sure you make an appointment to go visit the health center. Dr. Davida Lauren Haywood is the VP over student affairs at Johnson C. Smith University. And she says they are approaching monkeypox a lot like COVID. We're trying to err on the side of caution, keep our campus community educated. Educated on the fact that monkeypox can be spread by prolonged contact with people who are positive or who had prolonged contact with contaminated bedding or clothing. This could go for roommate situations and public health official stress, campus hookup culture Culture, no matter the sexual orientation. Our preparedness team is coordinating a, a planning session specifically with our institutions of higher learning uh, to discuss with them as they prepare to bring folks back on campus. Uh, unfortunately, we're doing that at the same time as we're preparing for Charlotte Pride, which is next week, as well as preparing for uh, the potential for outbreaks in other settings like shelters, for example. And treatment for those who become positive. The challenges for clinicians is, while this is the drug we've been tasked with using, it's not on every corner in every drugstore, and it's very difficult to get your hands on it. While widespread vaccinations for monkeypox are still a while away. We're just being realistic. Yeah. I think, again, COVID taught us we can try to put everything to place. Somebody inevitably is going to get ill. I think it's the response after they get ill yeah. that matters. Now, just within the last hour, we got some demographic information on monkeypox. The state says that 70 percent of cases are among black men. They only account for about a quarter so far of the vaccinations. Both state and local leaders say they are working to address that. Live in Uptown, Derek Dallas for Queen City News.